Shalom, shalom. Welcome to another episode of You Are Not Wife Material. Man, in these episodes, these are simply case studies of how many women there are out there that are desperately desiring a good man, but a man won't come within 10 feet of them with the opportunity of marriage. You know, the Bible talks about those that uh, choose to live a lie, the Most High will send them a strong delusion because they love not the truth. And this is truly something that the older women need to understand and hear. It is your job, it is your assignment as an older woman to impart knowledge and wisdom and educate for righteousness sake the younger women. But this is the painful truth about the women out here that uh, have all these high expectations, uh, you know, for a man and they themselves are of no value. Now, if you are a man and you're watching this, you know, let me know down in the comments without being disrespectful. You know, how many of you are looking for a, uh, a woman or a wife like this? Let me know with a simple, I'm not, I wouldn't marry her or uh, I would marry her. And this is serving as a case study, you know, and this years from now will serve as a case study. And women can see in the comments that if they got that same mindset, they'll understand the importance of repentance. Repentance, turning from, you know, your former ways of ignorance, turning from your former, you know, life that did not bear fruit. And even still, man, a lot of these women are hoping and praying, but simply, they're too far gone. Roll that footage. Hi, Kendra. Hey, hey baby, life. give me some light, boo. Here we go. How are you? What's How the name, you? boo? I was, I'm not going to talk. See, Facebook, they, Ashley was complaining because I was talking until somebody came on the show. So I'm going to show them the difference. I'm only going to talk when somebody come on the screen on Facebook and let it just be dead silence. Until somebody pop up. What's your name, baby? Vero. How you spell that? V E R O. V E R O? Yes. How old are you? 38. What you do for a living? I'm a mental health therapist. A what? A mental health therapist. A mental health therapist? Yes. Do you have any kids? Yes, two. How old are your two kids? 15 and 12. Say it again? 15 and 12. Okay, both, both by the same man? Yes. Okay. Um, have you ever been married? No. no. <laughs> and what's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Oh, oh, where are you calling me from, Vero? The Bronx, New York. Bronx. <laughs> so we got Vero, Bronx, New York, 38 Aquarius, mental health therapist, mom to two kids, by the same man, never married. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Okay, someone who's has a profession, someone who's educated, someone who's ambitious and outgoing and loves to travel because I love to travel. Love to travel a lot. <laughs> okay, what are your deal breakers? Smokers, no smokers, no cheap men. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like nice stuff. I I do well for myself and I get myself nice stuff. So if you're cheap, don't just don't do it. <laughs> um, liars, cheaters, like the regular stuff. People that don't, that don't treat their family well. People that are selfish and um, let me see. And people that's like self-centered. That's all. So what's cheap to you? Cheap is going to Applebee's. <laughs> she's just going to Applebee's like I don't do chain restaurants like I if it's, I like restaurants that doesn't you don't you never heard of the name or if you did heard of the name it's like yeah so, okay. <laughs> yeah. so if a guy wanted to take you on a date to Applebee's you would say no no what is that I don't even, even take my kids to Applebee's <laughs> Okay, you know, there was this whole conversation about the Cheesecake Factory. Could he bring you to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> he, he can get me a piece of cheesecake to go for a doggy bag, but not to take okay. me there. 
saying no. Okay, so what kind of restaurant should the man be willing to take you that you will accept? Um, like five star restaurants, like like stuff that you just never heard about. No chain restaurants. So this is the first date. Yes, like I went on a date. Um, before and the guy he took me to a Brazilian restaurant. Right. So, well, what yeah. with that guy? Why didn't you just close the deal? That with was him? A, a while ago. That was a long time ago. He wasn't. That was our first date. That was nice. The second date was nice, but then he wasn't. My third date, he I just feel he wasn't my. Like, I was. Is he the only guy that. that's ever done that, or this is what you give all the time? Sometimes, not all the time. Okay, but now, but it's now it's the requirement. Yes. 